welcome to a welcome back to my channel <laughs> my hair looks crazy so let me start off by saying today's sponsor is goo goo hair i can't wait to style my hair for today's video so this is the before sometimes i honestly am so lazy and i don't have any time to dyson air wrap all of my hair i have a lot of hair like i've got really thick hair so anyway i wanted to show you guys how i've been doing my updo at the moment i'm so obsessed with this ponytail wrap they have a few different things that they sent me but i'm just going to show you guys how i personally style the ponytail wrap because that is my favorite piece goo goo hair is dedicated to the development of high quality hair extensions i find that it gives me a stunning natural look like you can't tell that it's hair extensions so i'm just going to quickly show you my favorite different pieces so firstly, this is a halo extension. I'm not going to put this one on, but I'm obsessed with these. Oh my god, these are so, so smart because basically you section your hair. I would usually section my hair like that. And then I literally grab this and I put it in, clip it in, and then this wire is like invisible. You can get them in different lengths, in different colors. You can get a color match. And I do really love the halo extensions, but today I'm going to be styling the ponytail extension because it's literally my favorite thing. Oh my God, obsessed. I started wearing these in high school. Um, so that's how I learned how to, you know, do this properly, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I'm going to section my hair. My hair is so thick, guys. And then I will tie this up. Why am I out of breath? Like literally just tying my hair up is a whole thing. I use two types of clips. So I use these. And I also use bobby pins. Okay, so I've braided this like really poorly. Usually I would do three or even four braids because that's just better that way. <laughs> that's terrible. And then we're going in with the ponytail extension. There's like Velcro here. Okay, then I'm wrapping. And then I'm using the clips to clip that piece of hair that I was wrapping around. So as you can see, I still have to do my fringe. That looks amazing. I love how this looks. You can't even tell. I feel like this looks very, very natural. I have a discount code LUMA15 for 15% off for one piece or LUMA18 for 18% off for two pieces. And I have a special link in my description down below. But yeah, I'm so in love with this. I think this looks amazing. I'm going to keep it in for when I film my video today. But yeah, thank you so much to Goo Goo Hair for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Hello. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video is a topic that I love. This is the mindset that's making me rich and successful. This is not sponsored, but this is literally my favorite drink. I think this is new and I can't get enough of it. This is not just for my female audience. This is for everybody. This is for guys. Everyone is welcome on this channel, okay? This is a safe space. What's a confident, independent person? I think of somebody that walks into a room and demands to be respected. Like instantly, you know that they're not fucking around with their time. They walk into a room and immediately like the energy is you are going to respect that person regardless of if you like them. Certain people carry that aura and that's what we want. You know what I love is, let me give you an example, right? I remember like the other day someone was telling me, oh my gosh, I hate Taylor Swift so much. And like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big Swifty or anything, but like I like a couple of her songs, okay? And for me, I think that her tour, like her era's tour is so cool. She's selling out arenas of thousands of people, right? But like at the end of the day, you're still talking about her and she doesn't give a shit. You know what I mean? Like you can't even access her to give her your opinion, even if you wanted to, because anybody that is in the spotlight, that is famous, that is rich, that is successful, anything, right? If you're in that place, you are going to have haters. But it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter that this person said to me, oh my God, I hate Taylor Swift. She is still selling out shows of 80,000 plus people. Like, do you understand? She doesn't, who cares? She doesn't care. She doesn't care. So it's like you sitting around worrying about what other people think about you is your first obstacle. And we have to jump over that because if you're going to sit around worrying about what people think, you will always live your life 
so average, just so okay, so mundane, and just having all these dreams and wishes and not being able to access anything that you want, okay? Get rid of that mindset. But I don't care about what anyone thinks about me. I seriously don't. Because you know what I've learned over the years is that I don't benefit from caring about what people think. I know what I want in this life. I know I want to be successful. I'm not going to achieve any of this by caring about what somebody thinks about me. A bad bitch wouldn't. So instead of talking about what you should do in this video, I'm going to talk about what you shouldn't do. Okay, step one. So I have changed my life. I did not come from a well-off family. I have built everything that I have on my own and I've been at it for years now. Like I actually started this YouTube channel years ago and only in the past like year or two has it really like grown and it will keep growing because I believe in myself. I know my worth, I'm delusional, okay? I'm not just sitting around here being like, yes, I'm the best ever. I have doubts, I'm a human being. But like, my point is, I am just so delusional and I keep going and I believe that the universe hears me and knows what I want to achieve and I do good things and I get good karma, okay? That's just how it works. Delusion has gotten me so far. I really believe that I manifest absolutely everything that I want, everything. Anything that I've written down or put down on like my vision board or whatever always comes true. Or if that doesn't come true, something even better comes true. And I look back at that and I'm like, I can't believe I wanted that. My favorite thing to say ever is I never lack, I transition. Let's like talk about delusion, what I mean by that. I really believe in myself. If you don't believe in yourself, other people won't believe in you. You need to believe it. You need to believe that you are worthy of everything that you want, that the universe has your back. If you're sitting around here believing that you're just another human being, you're another number, it doesn't matter. Like, no, don't, don't think like that. That's why I really try and encourage people in my life. Like, I know that it's not for everyone and I know that people believe in different things, but for me, I really try and encourage my friends and people in my life, like just to be spiritual even a little bit, to believe that like, you are made from the same material as everything else in this universe. You were put here for a reason. You have a purpose. Believe that, okay? Believe it. I believe with every bone in my body that I never lack. I just transition. So when I go through something bad, I don't have this mentality of like, oh, I'm just jumping tragedy to tragedy. Like bad things just keep happening to me. No. I think of it as like, this is, life's tough, okay? And I get presented with these tough scenarios to make me stronger so that I can appreciate things later in my life. If life was always amazing, like constantly so good, we wouldn't be able to appreciate the good moments. We honestly just wouldn't. We're selfish, that's how we are as human beings. So you need to have these humbling moments where someone breaks up with you, you lose something, you know what I mean? Like you're broke for a minute. It happens to all of us. There is no human being that only has ups. Okay, in every single month of every year, I have a moment where I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. It goes up and down, it's a roller coaster, okay? I believe that every bad thing that I go through makes me stronger. And also that every idea that I have is almost like given to me. It's like the universe telling me that I'm capable of doing that thing. I had an idea to start this YouTube channel. Here we are. Over there, I can see my 100,000 plaque. I just started it. I was delusional. I just believed in myself. I thought, you know what? Yes, there are so many people trying to be YouTubers and you know, that want to have a channel and everything. And what makes me different to all of them? I don't know. Just the fact that I believe and that I'm going to start and I'm going to cross my fingers and see what happens. And here we are. And because of this, I now believe I can do anything. So I tell all my friends, I don't give a shit. Even if you have 200 followers, you, if you have that feeling that you have something to offer, or if you want to do music, if you want to do anything, you are good enough. The universe has given you that feeling, that talent, because you are supposed to fulfill that. Believe it, ho. <laughs> a bad bitch would not not believe in themselves. If I invite you into my car, like let's say I'm driving and I pick you up, and I'm like, oh, you know, it's a mess, just whatever, throw whatever, I don't care, just whatever. You're probably gonna leave your rubbish in my car because I don't care about my car, so why would you? If I don't believe in myself and I don't think that I'm important, then I'll just let people walk all over me because why would they respect me if I don't respect myself? You have to show people how you wanna be treated. Seriously, I believe this is the same thing with relationships. If I'm dating a guy and I'm just like, I don't care, like I don't want presents, I don't want anything. Why would they give me anything? I've shown them that I don't care. If I'm dating a guy and I'm like, 
I love flowers, I love this, I love that, get pay for my nails, blah, blah. Not in a demanding like, you have to do this, but more of an encouraging, this makes me happy, this is what I want. My whole motto in life is to be a strong, successful, rich, independent, kind person, right? You can be all at once. I want people to feel that it is a privilege to be in my life and it is a privilege to be my friend or to work with me, anything. Like, cause it is a privilege and I believe that. And you should also feel like it is a privilege for people to be in your life. Do you understand me? Because it is. Your time is limited. We only have one life and if you died tomorrow, would you be happy with the people that you're surrounded by? Would you be happy with the person that you're dating? your living situation, your job? If the answer is no, change something. Treat it like it's life or death because it is, because you only have one life. I don't play when it comes to my circle, when it comes to my friends. I don't have many friends, but if you're gonna be my friend, you are not gonna be insecure and somebody that projects their insecurities onto me. I don't have time for it. There are therapists out there, okay? It's not my journey. Why would you? I feel like I respect myself too much to be friends with people that require so much energy out of me or like to date someone that makes me feel unhappy. What's the point? The whole point of dating someone is that they're a plus in your life and you grow together and they, you know, they nurture you and whatever. I'm not dating or being friends with people that make me feel like shit. A bad bitch wouldn't do it, so don't do it. When it finally clicked for me and I realized like you don't have to force yourself to be friends with people or keep people in your life just to please them. Oh my God, my whole world changed. And I also wanna say this doesn't mean that I'm a massive bitch that just like is so rude to everybody. The only thing is you have to have boundaries. I have boundaries, don't play with me. But like I also know that I'm a good friend and I'm a kind friend and being in my life is a privilege and I make people happy. Why do you think I started this channel? I wanna do things for people and make people feel better, but I have boundaries. If I was only nice and only kind and only sweet and just let everybody walk all over me, that would take so much of my energy and it would make me feel bad and I just, I can't afford that. A bad bitch would not do free charity work. Let me elaborate, okay? Babying, like holding someone like this and breastfeeding this guy that's lazy, okay? That isn't ambitious, that doesn't wanna do the things that you wanna do, that is not charity for a good cause. Especially when girls date guys for their potential. I, is this Build-A-Bear? Why? Why are you dating them? I talk a lot about this on my TikTok. This is my TikTok. Um, but I'm not gonna talk about this in today's video because it's not, you know, it's not today's video. But yeah, it's charity if you're looking after a guy, waiting for their potential. Are you Mother Teresa? No, you have a journey, you got money to make, girl. <laughs> Inflation, the <laughs> fuck? Stop it, stop like trying to be Mother Teresa, stop trying to be, this isn't Build-A-Bear, stop breastfeeding, okay? Don't. A bad bitch would not be friends with somebody that doesn't want to see her doing well, okay? We've all had that friend where we tell them something and they're literally not really happy for us and it's so obvious and we can tell. That's a horrible feeling. I would rather have no friends genuinely. You know what? There's no such thing as having no friends because I'll tell you what, I have gone a year almost living in Melbourne and only this month do I feel like I have a good circle here. I've had so many months where I would just fly back to Sydney and see all my friends because like Sydney is my home, okay? But like I waited, like I held out for the right friends. I'm not gonna hang out with people just to fill up that space and make me feel less lonely because why would I do that? I'd rather literally just hang out by myself. I trust myself, okay? I like my own company, um, and I'm just, it's charity work. As I said, it's literally charity work. I feel like really great friends come along um, only once in a while, and it's worth waiting for those friends. It's worth spending time alone to figure out what you want in people, what you want in a partner, what you want in friends. And just like giving out your energy for free, like I was saying, is free charity work, and it's not, you don't benefit at all. If I hang out with you and I talk to you and I give you access to my energy, consider yourself blessed. Seriously, because I've spent so much time alone that it's just not worth it for me. What do I benefit from being your friend? Not that I have to get something, it's not like an exchange, but it's like I wanna be friends with people that are confident, that teach me things, that help me grow. Okay, and like there's just so many people that you can be friends with that will take you down the wrong path. All they wanna do is go clubbing and, and like every weekend and they wanna like go drinking and they'll peer pressure you into things. Embarrassing, embarrassing, it's charity work and it's not what a bad bitch would do. Next, 
A confident person would not feel that sense of panic or urgency to beg for anybody. There is not a person on this planet that is irreplaceable. I know it sounds vain and I know it sounds cutthroat apart from your family and your bestest, bestest friends, right? Like and when I say bestest, bestest friends, I can only count like two or three in my head that I have that, you know, are irreplaceable. A bad bitch would not beg anyone. They wouldn't panic over anyone. None of it. I would never, I could never go. So if you switch up on me, you break up with me, you don't want to be my friend again, you do something bad to me, of course I'm going to be sad. I'm a human being, okay? We have emotions as human beings. That is the one thing, that is the one true issue of being a human being is that we have our emotions that we deal with. I'm going to be sad, but I acknowledge my feelings. I go to therapy. I know that I have these feelings and I've gotten better at dealing with them. And that's why you're here watching this video. You want to be better at, you know, dealing with your emotions. But anyway, so... If someone hurts my feelings, I will acknowledge that I'm a human, I'm gonna be sad over it, I'm gonna be sad over the fact that you've hurt my feelings, maybe grieve a friendship. Friendship breakups are hard, normal breakups are hard too, you know? But like, there's no one that's irreplaceable. I'm not gonna beg for you. I'm not gonna beg for you. Like, why would I? There's so many people, there's so many places. I don't need anything from anybody and I don't need anybody to make me feel comfortable. And that's why being alone, being single, or you know, just like being picky about your friendship circle, that's so valuable because then you realize that you can nurture yourself. It sounds cringe. It's literally the most cliche thing. All these cringy quotes, they say like, be happy being alone, blah, blah, blah. But like, you know what? It's so true. You hear it all the time because it's the most simple advice and it's so true, okay? Like, if you're happy being alone, you won't need anyone. There's not a single person on this planet, like I've been saying, that I would sit around begging if they decided to like leave me and not talk to me anymore. There's so many people out there. There's so many things for you. You don't want to be in my life? Okay, I guess it's not your journey. I'm going to find someone else to be friends with. Don't beg. Don't panic. Don't. I love some of these points that I wrote down, especially that everybody is going to have an opinion and that if you want to be somebody that is successful, that is rich, then the first step is getting over that part of yourself that feels afraid of what opinions people are gonna have on you. Because like, I would rather people have opinions on me because it means that I'm doing something. It means that I have something that they want, okay? I remember like people from high school or people in my life that I've met that are just super, super nice, very like mundane, are clearly not like living their dream life. They're not living a life that I wanna live for sure, but they're just like a sweet little unproblematic person. That's nice, okay, you're happy with that, that's fine. I'm not happy with being mundane, unproblematic, like just this little like version of myself that people want me to be. People will never want you to be better than them. When are you gonna realize that? The reason why people have opinions on me is because I feel like I'm a walking mirror for people to remind them of the things that they're not doing. Does that make sense? So if I walk into a place, and a girl gives me like a dirty look. <laughs> all I'm thinking, honestly, all I'm thinking in my head is like, who hurt you today? Who hurt you? What is it that you like about my outfit? Is my outfit, is, did I do my makeup really well? I'll take it as a compliment. Because if you're looking at me like that, then I have something that you want. Unless you're living a life that I want to live, I don't care about what you think about me. I don't. And somebody that is a bad bitch already, myself, I think I'm a bad bitch, would never comment on someone else's TikTok or like, someone's video or anything where someone is clearly trying, I wouldn't comment on it and I wouldn't say something rude. Like, oh, this is so cringe, blah, blah, blah. Because that was me at one point. So I would never comment that. So all these people commenting or saying things, it's because they are afraid of your potential. And are you going to dim your light and stop yourself from being successful because of what they think? The answer is no, bitch. I hope you liked today's video. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next video. I will probably be in the Philippines when you watch this. So I'm going to be vlogging that trip. I'm so excited. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.